Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. Today we are talking about Stephen King's second collection, Skeleton Crew. I like this cover. I've always liked this cover because I like the uh, the story that's in there. If you're confused and think I've reviewed this before, I have not. Uh, it I do have an episode of Thursday Theorist, but those tend to be uh, spoiler reviews because I have to talk about his entire catalog. So I'm trying to go back and do, I have written reviews up on Goodreads for everything he's ever done. Um, but if you're confused that that's why I've never actually done video reviews of this, you know, this book and many, many others. There's like 50 reviews I don't have to do. So you're going to have content all the way up until literally next year. Okay, so we're going to jump into this. I'm going to go story by story and give my thoughts as quickly as possible. If you're here for the TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch, um, then just know this is not my favorite Stephen King collection by a long shot, but it does have some of my favorite short stories in there and my favorite short story from Stephen King, period. Um, I know that's weird, but uh, some, a lot of these stories just completely fell flat for me, um, and I will, I'll, I'll try to tell you in as much detail as possible. I don't want this video to be too long. Some of these stories, I don't even remember all that much, but we're going to jump into it. So the very first one is a novella called The Mist. Um, it is about a mist that rolls in off a lake, I believe, um, and there are creatures in the mist, and this group of people get trapped inside the supermarket, and it has all different kinds of wonderful stuff. Um, you have a crazy religious person. You got the, the whole gambit of people and the creatures are especially good. The film adaptation by Frank Darabont is one of the most bleak, bleak, they're probably the bleakest, uh, one, nah, I'd say the bleakest Stephen King adaptation there is other than maybe Pet Cemetery. Um, lo love that one. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Here There Be Tigers is a super, super short uh, story about a kid who asks to go to the bathroom, I believe I'm, I'm correct here, and finds a tiger in the bathroom stall or something like that. Um, there's been a lot of discussion whether or not this ties into uh, the Dark Tower because of uh, Wind Through the Keyhole and other, other things, or if it even ties into Sleeping Beauties later on because there's a tiger in there. I don't know. Um, the next one is The Monkey, which is is another favorite of mine. Uh, it's literally about the old, you know, symbol crashing monkey, and it's it's cursed. It's a very fun story, and it becomes a super huge epic uh, and ending by the end of it. Uh, the guy's out on the boat. Anyways, it, I love the story for what it is. I love stories like this where King takes uh, very what is it innocuous items, unassuming items, whatever, and uh, you know not just novelty things like chattering teeth, which we'll discuss when we get to uh, nightmares and dreamscapes. But I love it when he takes stuff like that and he <laughs> and he turns it on its head and makes it evil. I, I love it so much. Uh, next one is Kane Rose Up. Not one of my favorites. I can't even remember what the story is about. So we're going to move on to Mrs. Todd's Shortcut. Mrs. Todd's Shortcut, I would give three or four stars. And I think it actually ties in to Lisey's story. Um, Booyah Moon and all that stuff. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys down there in the doobly-doo if you agree with me. But yeah, um, I enjoy this story for what it is. Maybe three or four stars. Um, next one is The Jaunt. The Jaunt is my favorite Stephen King story of all time, period, over and done with. I love it so much, I always think that it's in Night Shift, um, which is my favorite collection from him, um, but it's not, it's in this one, um, and I would love to see this made into a movie. It's got, uh, of course, this, the story came first, but Event Horizon vibes, um, that, that kind of thing, you know, somebody going through space and time and finding something that they shouldn't have. And it's one of the best descriptions of someone losing their mind or instantly losing their mind. And, you know, when they come back from this, you know, what the hell did they see? Uh, it's, I, I love things like that. Um, and I think the mystery of this one makes it even, even better than it would be had he explained it. Uh, the next one is The Wedding Gig. I don't remember a thing about it. Uh, let's see here. Paranoid, A Chant, I believe is a poem. Don't care too much about that. Next up is The Raft. Um, that's another great story in here. I give it four stars. Um, this one was at adapted in either creep show one or two let me know down there in the doobly-doo which one it is i believe it was number two um it was the george romero anthology films uh based on stephen king's work uh this <laughs> um i i love 
the idea that these people go out onto this, you know, this raft, this floating platform, and there's something in the water. I love creature features, especially uh, the creatures that, you know, e even just touching them will harm you. So yeah, that's a highlight of this. Word processor of the gods, uh, not my favorite. Uh, this is another one of those stories where King, you know, uses his his own writing experience to try and create a horror a horror story and this one didn't really do all that much for me um i think another one that kind of fits in this genre is you are uh, about the uh the 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 e-reader uh the evil e not really evil e-reader but the e-reader that talks about the future and all that um next up is the man who would not shake hands I remember enjoying this story, but I can't for the life of me remember what it's about. And you might wonder, why are you even talking about them if you don't remember what they're about? I think it speaks to how much I like them and how much, you know, how, how they stayed with me and whether or not they're good stories or bad stories, at least in my opinion. Uh, Beach World is a very, very strange kind of sci-fi dune uh, story that I enjoyed immensely. Uh, I think... Uh, I think that's all I want to say about it. Uh, it's one of those that you really need to go in blind and not hear too much about it. In fact, I probably said too much as it is. But yeah, I enjoyed this one. Uh, the Reaper's Image, super, super short story. It's one of his shortest, just like Here There, Here There Be Tigers. It is only uh, eight pages long, and it's about a mirror. Um, that's all I really remember. Nona, um, I know Nona is several people's favorite sh uh, King short stories, but I, d I don't remember too much about it. Uh, he just has so many short stories, and this one just never landed for me, and it hasn't stuck. For Owen, I don't... Is this a baseball story? I can't remember <laughs> other than that. Or maybe I'm thinking about something else that he did um, that was based on his son, Owen, playing baseball. I can't remember. Maybe it's a poem. Maybe that's why I don't remember it. Uh, uh, fine, uh, not finally, but Survivor Type. We've gotten to another good story. Um, this is a story about a man. In fact, this was in the Creep Show reboot that's on Shudder. Um, it's a series, not an anthology show. Oh, it's an anthology series. I was, each episode is about a different thing. But uh, Survivor Type was an animated special. Um, it is about a man who, uh, whose plane crashed, he ends up on an island, uh, castaway vibes, even though this came first, castaway vibes, but if there were no coconuts or so on, uh, you know, on, on the island and he ends up having to, uh, eat what he has available. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, but another thing is there's drugs on the plane, so he's, he's able to, you know, take, take the drugs for certain pains that he has. Um, and I love his descent into into madness as things get worse and worse and worse. Uh, next up, we have Uncle Otto's truck. Uh, but don't remember too much about this. Uh, is it one of those ones like Christine and Mile eighty one and all that was possessed car? I don't I don't I don't know. Um, then we have Morning Deliveries Milkman is the, I, I can't remember exactly what the plot of this one is, but I do remember very specific visuals. Um, and if, uh, I don't, I don't want to spoil you for it, but I did enjoy this one. I'd probably give it about three stars. Uh, Big Wheels, A Tale of the Laundry Game, Milkman 2. Again, same thing I said about the last one. A very specific visuals, but they're spoilers, so I'll let you read it for yourself. Um, Grandma is the next one. Super creepy story. In fact, it was made into the absolutely atrocious, uh, atrocious, uh, movie called Mercy with Carl from The Walking Dead. Can't remember the kid's name. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't get past the first 10 minutes of the movie. It was so poorly directed, shot, acted, all that stuff. I just hated every second of it. So I turned it off. Um, it seems like most of Stephen King's short stories that are made into movies, I don't gel too too well with it. I'm trying to think of one that I like. Maybe, uh, uh, let's see here, maybe Riding the Bullet. I like that one, I think. Anyways, moving on. The Ballad of the Flexible Bullet. Don't remember anything about that one. And then finally, we have Stephen King's favorite story that he has written, The Reach. Um, the Reach is about an old woman who leaves her house to walk across uh, this 
I think it's Little Tall Island, so it ties in with Storm of the Century. She's trying to walk from either Little Ta Tall Island to the mainland, or it's one of those two things, and it is such a beautiful, poignant story. Um, I highly suggest you read this one, and The Jaunt, and The Mist, if you don't read anything else in this collection. Um, the Raft, too. Uh, those are my favorite stories, and that's pretty much all I have to say about this collection. Collection as a whole, I would give it three stars. I like it okay. Um, it's not my least favorite collection. That would be Everything's Eventual, which we will get to eventually. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, but uh, have you read Skeleton Crew by Stephen King? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, whether or not you felt meh about it. But if you felt any of those things, explain to me what you felt in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E. You've been you. This has been another Stephen King book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.